yourself and your writing career? I can tell you the roles of independent booksellers by just looking at Rick and telling you. It's hard for me to even talk about it. I would not have a voice as a writer without Rick. Um, in 1991, he took refuge, an unnatural history of family in place, tucked it under his wing, and really took care of that book to where I think it found its way in this country. And um, I am in his debt. I, there are hundreds of other writers in this country that felt the same way. Um, here's the story. My father had been diagnosed with prostate cancer. He chose to be operated on in Seattle. We live in Salt Lake City. Um, he needed a living will. We were on our way to his operation. And I said, Dad, I'd be happy to sign it. And he said, I don't trust you. <laughs> and the next thing I know, he tells the cab driver to pull up to Elliott Bay Books, which is where Rick works and presides. Rick wasn't there, remember? Not right away. Uh, they were looking for And him. so we were waiting. I mean, it was a life and death situation, seriously. Rick walked in. Dad hands him the forms and says, I want you to sign my living will because I trust you. And, I mean, it was just so moving to me that, you know, we're not talking about just books. We're not talking about just bookstores and booksellers, um, profit and commerce. We're talking about family. We're talking about community, and we are really talking about what it means to take care of one another. Why does your dad trust Rick more than I trust you? <laughs> <laughs> you you should meet your dad. It's a good question. 